Right lads and ladies, it's Chris here and it's been a wee while again because <laughs> I really want to get back into this YouTube thing and I will but I've got a wee story here. I'm off to the BBC, like the BBC, you know what the BBC is. Like, it's part of my like course I'm on at the minute. So I'm completed my the placement I had with the radio. So with that placement I went and got a, a new computer because I really want to get stuck into YouTube as I said so I got a new computer I got like a new graphics card and all and a new case if you follow me on Twitter you'll see it and you'll know what the story's about so you should follow me on Twitter actually you should so I ordered from Cyberpark PC and I was always worried to, to order from an online supplier and get it sent out because my previous one I just went to some local guy and he made it for me so then if it was local, I was able to just go back to him, like in the car, instead of like worrying about postage and all. So I couldn't do that with this one. So I got it. I opened it all. I was so excited. I was like, "Oh yes!" I was going to do an unboxing, but then I couldn't because I don't like my family's in the house and I can't really do it. I have to be really quiet and all this air crap. So that's why I do these car vlogs because I can come out and just talk say whatever I want. Shit. <laughs> so I got it the first day and I opened it up. Super excited as T Martin says and it worked. So because I was so excited I was like oh shit I better get on my YouTube stuff in my folders. Like I had a I had a folder called YouTube stuff and it had like all my Photoshop like um, banners and stuff and live stream banners and all this here already to move house and get started and I put it all onto the hard drive or the SSD drive on the new computer and then I thought right this is okay and transferred okay it was really fast as well <laughs> so the next morning I got up and I tried to turn it on and it didn't turn it on so I was like what the freak is going on here so I went straight on to the the email thing on my pad was going to do. So I went straight on to the email thing, like Cyberpower Technical Support. Oh shit, what happened? We're falling. Went over a bump. Oh, we're all over the place. Oh shit. I think we'll need to pull over. Fuck shot. Oh shit. What the hell? What the hell? Let's hope that doesn't happen again, because these are bumpy roads up here where I live right now, so... And I didn't get stuck behind a tractor, there's a tractor behind me, you. <laughs> so I'll try and take it easy here and hopefully it doesn't fall again, because if it does... Perfect. So where was the... yes. So the computer didn't turn on and I went straight to Cyberpower Technical Support email to try and figure out what was wrong. So he was like, oh, unplug it, do this here, do this here, and then it's fallen again. We're just going to have to keep it like that. I know I'm going down and down slowly, but I can't keep stopping because if the be somewhere, I have to go to the BBC, right? So uh, I went on there and he said, right, turn it off and on. Obviously, it did the basic stuff. like. But then he, was, he sent me this link to this website to, what was it? Like jumpstart my oh, blip, blip, blip. right. <laughs> he sent me to this website to show me how to jumpstart my power supply, and I know nothing about like how to do this with computers and all. So I was like, I don't really know how to do this. And he was like, take out the 24 pin in the motherboard and put this in here. And blah blah blah. Right. So after a bit of fiddling about inside the computer which was scary because I don't know like people are saying all the static and all and make sure you're you're not charged or something so I was like shit am I going to get like this big massive electric shock here but what I had to do was if you know your computers and stuff you know what I'm talking about probably but I had to get like a wee pin take out this connection from the motherboard which is the big massive square thing and I had to put a pin into the green and black 
connectors and then turned the computer on while this pin was sitting inside the electric connector thing for the motherboard. And I was like, flip me. What is going to happen here? Am I going to blow up or something? It was, I was, <laughs> it honestly thought like, felt like I was in the movies. You know in the movies when they're like, oh, you cut the red wire, oh, you cut the green wire. If you don't cut the right wire, you're going to blow up. So I thought it was going to blow up. Like, well, not me, but like the computer. And then I would just die on the spot. <laughs> and then I'll never move house or do YouTube. <laughs> so, obviously I didn't blow up because I'm here doing this and talking about it. And there we go again, another rebound, right? We're on a smooth, nice new road here, so we should be okay. We're all right. <laughs> so, I, um, I did this and the computer turned on okay, but you should have seen me. I was like, I, I turned the switch on at the back of the computer and then I like jumped back really fast and put my hand back just in case something happened, but nothing did happen, it just turned on like normal, like all the blue lights and stuff, oh I've got blue lights on, it's close. I should, I'll throw a wee picture up here to show what it looks like, if you follow me Twitter you know what it looks like, but it worked fine for some reason, so I took the wee pin out, obviously turned everything off and unplugged it because I'm shitting myself right now, what is going to happen, because like, I know like electric, conductors and this metal thing that I'm putting in here, if I touch this, am I going to die still? So I took everything out, I plugged the 24 pin connector thing back into the motherboard again, which took a while because I didn't know whether to clip it in or not, and I didn't want to push it too hard because I'm shit with computers. So I put it back in and it doesn't work. So I have to, I have to send it back and send it back today. So I don't know when I'll get it back, hopefully soon. And the, I'm raging because I cut, I didn't copy, I cut every single YouTube, like video, or not video. I still have my old videos because I put them on a separate hard drive on the old PC. But I've lost all, well I haven't lost them. I've just put them on that PC and now I can't turn it on to get them. I know I could take out the SSD and put it into my old computer now. But I don't know how to do that, and don't want to mess anything else up, because I've probably already broke it. <laughs> well, I have, because it's in the back. It's something to do with, like, the motherboard or something. The motherboard's died, so, yeah. Hopefully that has nothing to do with the SSD, and I can keep the stuff, because I had live stream stuff and all that there, so it kind of sucks. So, I'm super excited to move house. Just, just over a month now, and it's looking good. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know about my pictures. I'll put another one up here. This picture here is the my room and the setup corner. So I'm so looking forward to moving in. When when I was speaking, well, I wasn't speaking to the electrician, but I organised to get like extra switches and all. And he was like, "Does he really need all these switches?" And I was like, "Yep, I do," because I've got. If you can see there, there's there's one, or there's a double socket in the middle there on this, on the, the wall. So that's for my TV. My TV's going to go there, and just to the left of the picture there is my, my bed, and it's going to go along the wall there. And then my setup's in that corner with the two double switches there. So it's going to look sick. I'm going to have the white PC and the white table from IKEA. And I'm going to have like this wire management system and all, it's going to look so sick and I can't wait to show you it's like my house, well the house is shit but my room is going to be amazing so I'll just do, I'll do a wee house tour but the main part will be my setup here so um, what am I going to do, what else? So that's pretty much it, uh, with this smooth road my phone hasn't moved at all but it sucks being up in the country in the country. I'm so country that the, the hens, like there's hens out the back and cows the odd time and the farmer puts them out of the field. So it's it kind of sucks but we're okay now and smooth root. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this too long. As you know my internet is shy because I keep mentioning it. And um, So once I get down here I'll have fiber and we'll be sweet and we'll be streaming and we'll be uploading my YouTube channel and my Twitch. You'll not know what's hit it because I will be flat out on the uploads like, and the streaming. I can't wait to stream. I'm so looking forward to streaming because I just love the interaction you can have on Twitch. Even though, like, the chat is kind of delayed. I don't know what's on my eye. 
even though the chat's kind of delayed, but what can you do? There's nothing you can do. So I just wanted to check in. We update just under, just over a month. Around the, the first week of June, I'll hopefully have the internet sorted. I need the because you can order 90 days in advance for BT Infinity, so I'll need to get that sorted so I can have it ready as soon as I move in on my own. Oh, we're shaking. So we'll need to have that ready as soon as I move in. I really hope it all goes to plan. And what I'm saying is true right now. <laughs> so when I do move in, I can start straight away while I'm on my own because I'll be moving in on my own, obviously. If you don't know, you can watch my old video. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.